Hey there everybody, Mike Hen here, Proctor Gallagher Consultant, and today we're going to talk about a concept that can dramatically change your life. It's what everybody wants to know. What is the mind? Now to be clear about it, if I ask you to think about your car, right? What comes up to your mind? Now what comes up to my mind is not what comes up in your mind because we have different cars. But an image comes up, the image of your car. If I ask you to think about your house, an image of the house comes up. Now if I ask you to think about your fridge and what's in it, you're automatically going into your mind Neuron starts to signal together, an image of your house comes in, you walk into the kitchen, you look at your refrigerator, and you start to imagine what's in it. That's a way that you're utilizing your mind. But if I ask you to think about your mind, what image comes up? Nothing. Because nobody ever showed you what the mind looks like. Where we don't have clarity of an image, there will be a confusion. Because if you go back to what I just asked you, and you try to think about what's inside your fridge. Now, if you opened the fridge a few minutes ago, you will have a clear image because it's there. If it's been a while, there will be a confusion because there's no clarity, okay? And that's why when everybody is talking about the mind, subconscious mind, uh, conscious mind, some of us are confused because we don't have a clear image to work with and we get lost. And what happens to us when we get lost? We stop paying attention. We lose that focus, that thin line about what is being said to us. And we let it go. And that's a big problem. So if you pay attention to what I'm about to explain now, the stick figure person, uh, an idea that Bob says is responsible for major, major changes in his life. Uh, it can change your life too. And if you really pay attention to what I'm, what am I about to explain from my understandings, it will be a different life. And I need you to pay real good attention to what I'm about to explain because it really, really, really can change your life. Okay? Pay attention. This is the image of the mind. Very simple. The mind, the subconscious mind. Now we can call this the body because whatever goes into the subconscious mind, this is the conscious mind, whatever goes into the subconscious mind puts the, the body in a certain vibration. And that vibration is what goes out from you to attract whatever you're vibrating in harmony with and that's directly associated with what your subconscious mind accepts as your reality by your conscious mind. Now how does it work? Because I just explained it in reverse, now we're gonna go and you need to understand it. Your conscious mind is your thinking mind, is where your five senses analyze reality. Okay, this is how things are, not the potential they can be, how things are. And we gotta understand that how things are is just the manifestation of previous thoughts that was consciously chosen and went into the subconscious mind, put the body in a vibration, and today this is your reality. As this is your reality today, we the same process that I just explained, you can go and change the reality of the future, of what is supposed to come. How are we going to do that? Conscious mind, we need to utilize it. 
and use it to get emotionally attached to the future that we want to live in, the person that we want to become. Not who we are today that we might not be happy with. And if you are, it's a good thing that you're happy start being unsatisfied because the potential of growth, endless. Okay? So, what most of us do, we look at reality and we let it control our behavior. This is how much money I have. This is the grades I got. This is what I'm capable of. I can't do any more than this which is completely, excuse my language, BS. Because you're God's highest form of creation. He created you in His image, the image of a creator, because God carries no image. So you gotta understand that the power that flows into you, that keeps you alive, always comes to you and goes out through you become your reality. So from that understanding, well, first of all, we need to understand that we're capable of anything that we uh, want to achieve. The very, the very thought that passes through your mind is enough to understand that I can achieve it. Because if you didn't, if you weren't able to achieve it, you wouldn't think about it. So I need you to understand that if you want something more of, out of life, that's life wanting you to go after it. What you need to do is learn this process I'm about to explain, which will move you into different actions, and then life will start changing. I promise you, that's the way it works. Pay close attention now. Conscious mind, you consciously choose the thoughts that you want to be involved with. If it's not beneficial to you, if it's a negative thought, leave it alone. It's got nothing to do with you. Things are as they are. Energy is. That's it. That's where it ends. Now, if you grind the negative thought over and over, time moves forward and you get stuck in a negative ID. Nothing grows out of it. What you concentrate on, what you put your focus on, will increase, will manifest more. If you're thinking about the problems, you will have more of them, okay? So what we need to do, we need to accept things as they are and the potential that exists in me by utilizing what I'm about to explain to change my reality. We start to consciously choose the thoughts that we want to, the reality we want to live in. Now, the biggest problem once we start doing that, is how do we implant it in the subconscious mind? Okay? Now, I'm going to go a little bit into metaphysics here. Okay? This is the subconscious mind is considered to be universal consciousness. Everything is there. Whatever you need. All the answers. If the problems comes up here, the solution automatically is here. You're just not consciously aware of it yet. Okay? Now we gotta understand, it is not of our thinking of how we're gonna get there. We need to see ourselves accomplishing and living. We need to get emotionally attached to how does it feel to have that reality and let it sink in. Now the problem that I find is this line. How do we get the thoughts from the conscious mind to sink in to the subconscious mind so powerfully that will be, they will change the vibration of their body that will move us into different actions? Okay? So how do we do that? The big problem is this. I call this the analytical mind. The thinking mind, the one that analyzes things based on our past. Oh, I couldn't do that. And the process of reducing the thickness of that analytical mind, what I call it, is by breathing and relaxing. That's why meditation, visualization is extremely important. And that's why the Proctor Gallagher Institute 
we have a worksheet that tells you how to visualize. You gotta relax, you gotta breathe and relax. When you breathe and relax, you create more brain heart coherence. And then, when you have that, you start visualizing. You start closing your eyes and seeing yourself living the life that you want to live, accomplishing the goals that you want, and that gets emotionally attached into your body. We got to understand the best way to do it, and there's two ways. This is one of them. There's a couple of the ways, I'm sorry. This is the two best that I find out to be. Visualization. Taking a breath, relaxing. Ten of them. Completely letting go of what is and being connected to what I want to be. Get emotionally involved in the feelings. The word meditation means getting familiar with. Getting familiar with what I want. Unfortunately, most of us meditate unconsciously on the things we don't want. And we need to consciously be aware of how to stop that process and change it. Now, if you stay alert and nervous and anxious and angry, the analytical mind just gets thicker, you will not be able to connect to the universal consciousness, your subconscious mind, where everything is, because it's not time to create. It's not time to create. When you're nervous, angry, it's the survival mode kicks in and you're looking to like do something right now. Okay, but things cannot change right now unless you're getting chased by a cheetah or there's a car heading your way. Then, yes, move into action. Get angry, get anxious, solve the problem. Now, we got to understand in nature, when an antelope gets chased by a giraffe, it puts the body into motion, it activates everything that it can to run away from it. Once it outruns the cheetah lion, whatever, it looks around, there's no more danger. Within five minutes, it goes back to eating grass and being relaxed. No more stress. We, we tend to hold stressful situations and our preconditioned mind from our past to prevent us to move into the future that we want to live in. But we're God's highest form of creation. For far as I know, there's no other creature on planet Earth that can utilize the six mental faculties, our God-given gift, to create the reality they want. Look at everything that we achieved. It all came from this gray matter that we call brain, which is connected to the conscious mind and the subconscious mind, which control our body, which will move us, move us into actions. The second way is via repetition of new material. How did you learn the language that you speak today? Repetition. How do you like the things that you like to do today? Repetition. The problem, that repetition of things really sinks in the body. And at one point, the body becomes the mind because it's comfortable. It likes the environment. It is comfortable in it. And once you implement a new idea in the conscious mind, it throws off the body from the vibration it's in and you feel uncomfortable. And because of that, you say, let me go back to comfort. Because your subconscious mind is still associated with previous paradigms. Paradigm is a um, multitude of habits that you automatically move into because you've been doing them for so long. You got comfortable being who you are. Now you want to be somebody else. It's going to create some discomfort. And that's why most of us don't move into action. So we got to understand repetition of new ideas and getting emotionally attached is what can cause the conscious mind. It's a beautiful tool that we have, the conscious mind. We can learn new material, read new material over and over and over again until it becomes our new way of living. And it doesn't matter if it's in relationship, diet, business, money, whatever you want it to be, okay? And we can use our conscious mind to breathe, to 
meditate, to visualize, to reduce the analytical line, stop analyzing things, get emotionally attached to what we want. The universal consciousness reads images. It doesn't speak English or Hebrew or Arabic or any other language that you want. It speaks in images. Once you hold the image through the conscious mind, you let it sink in, in the conscious mind and you use your mental faculties to get emotionally involved with how does it feel to have that life? How does it feel to be that person? Then your body will start changing the vibration slowly and naturally and you'll get up and you'll start doing things differently, I promise you. If you keep repeating new material, repeating visualization, seeing yourself being, things will start being attracted to you because that's how the law of vibration, the law of attraction works. It's secondary to the law of vibration. Your body has to move to a different vibration for a different reality to start to manifest in your life. Your body in a different vibration will start acting differently. Put your goals, your desires in front of everything and make sure you make time to use your conscious mind, to put them into the subconscious mind, get emotionally involved with it so you can change the vibration of your body, so you can move into different actions, so you can have a different life. The power of the subconscious mind can be utilized in your favor by the conscious right thoughts that you consciously choose and keep in your mind regardless the circumstances around you okay you will be tested many times over to see if you're worth it to have what you want it will not be handed over to you you have to be worthy. How do you become worthy? Faith and belief. You keep holding, using your conscious mind, you keep holding the thoughts that are beneficial to you and the ideas of how you want to live it. Conscious mind, subconscious mind, repetition, visualization, meditation. It's got to be in a relaxed state of mind. When you do that, your brain wave will be reduced to alpha brain waves. Alpha brain waves are steady waves and they're the strongest waves that your steady and most stable waves that your brain produces. And that's what vibrates to your body. Every cell in your body is gonna start changing. You will start wanting that feeling more and more because you're now emotionally attached to it. So you'll find yourself getting up and doing the thing that you know needs to be done. You don't need to know how you're gonna get to the end results. You just need to know that you will and do the first step. Once you do the first step, second step will show up automatically by law. By law. If you move towards me, I'll move towards you. Who said that? Take a while, yes. But it starts with you. You must be the person that consciously chooses the thoughts that are beneficial and productive to you, hold them, get emotionally involved with you doing them. How does it feel to do it? And hold it. The longer you hold it, the longer you repeat on it, the more you visualize yourself doing it and accomplishing the things that you want, you will alter the vibration of your body. Law of attraction will kick in. You will start attracting things that will take you towards where you want to be. I would highly recommend watching this video over and over and over again until it sinks in your mind and always only hold the thoughts that are beneficial to you because they'll put your body in a positive vibration it will attract other things reality will change my can here hope you enjoyed feel free to share it bob proctor sandy gallagher my can can go to work on you to make your reality more of what you want it to be